Good morning, it's Tuesday 12th of July. My name's Tom Elliott and this is my market report. Well, the past two days have been pretty grim on the Australian Stock Exchange. Shares were down yesterday in light of a fall on Friday night on Wall Street and of course the much-awaited announcement of the Federal Government's carbon tax. Today the story is getting worse. Now what's happened overnight is the Dow Jones and the various European Stock Exchanges all got hit fairly hard, down between uh, 1.2 and in some cases 2.7%. And the reason has got nothing to do with our carbon tax and everything to do with the European debt contagion. Now, for months now, in fact, over a year, we've been talking about the problems that Greece has. Uh, Greece is a relatively small economy, and I've been criticised for having said that it is to the rest of Europe what Tasmania is to Australia, but it's true. Um, if, even though Greece has big problems, they're, they're manageable because the country itself isn't so huge relative to the rest of the European economy. However, and it's a big however, it now seems that those debt issues are spreading to much bigger economies like uh, Italy and Spain, which speak for a substantial proportion of European GDP. If uh, the markets decide in their wisdom that these companies have a real debt issue, then it's going to be too big for the European Central Bank or indeed France or Germany, which are in financially better shape, to deal with. So that's got shareholders around the world uh, pretty worried, as they should be, as a result, share prices falling. Now, it's hard to separate out the impact of overseas markets falling from the carbon tax. Uh, yesterday, we saw some renewable energy stocks like Geodynamics, for example, and uh, I think there's a company called Clean Wave Technologies. They rose. I, I, I would be selling into any such rise. I don't think they're going to work longer term. Um, but you did see uh, oil and gas stocks sold off. This, I think, is a bit odd because uh, gas should be a big winner from the carbon tax. It's a much cleaner interim fuel than coal. And what is also unusual this morning is one of the few stocks going up is indeed MacArthur Coal. It makes pulverised coal for steel making. Um, it's uh, been a bid for before by Peabody and uh, Arcelor, and in this case, those two have teamed up, Arcelor, Mittal and Peabody. Between them, they have around 16.6%. Uh, Korean and Chinese giants, POSCO and City also own big chunks of the company. So despite the carbon tax, despite the uncertainty it creates for the coal industry and the steelmaking industry, uh, uh, MacArthur Coal shares uh, trading at around $15.20. The takeover is $15.50. Uh, having said that, even though steel stocks like Blue Scope Steel and One Steel were stronger last week, they've given up most of their gains in the past two days trading. Uh, as I said, gas stocks like Origin, Santos, Woodside, all weaker again, possibly because the oil price has fallen a bit, but again, uncertainty over the carbon tax uh, reigns supreme at the moment. So it's a difficult time. Also, uh, News Corp shares, I mean, they are absolutely in the toilet at the moment, down almost 10% in the past two sessions. The phone hacking scandal that has engulfed uh, the uh, tabloid paper News of the World, which has now been closed as of last Sunday, uh, looks like spreading to other parts of the company. There's a chance that Rupert Murdoch can be declared not a fit and proper person to hold a TV licence in the UK. Now, it's only a chance, but if the UK regulatory authorities decide to do that, uh, News Corp shares will almost, uh, almost certainly fall further. Um, as it is, uh, Murdoch has had to uh, re-engage at the top level, take over from his son James and try and deal with the crisis, um, all during while he was trying to get permission from the UK regulator to buy the 61% of B Sky B he doesn't currently own. It would also seem unlikely that that deal will now be allowed to go ahead. As I said, News Corp shares down around 4.5% today after a 5% fall yesterday. Who knows where it will stop. The Australian dollar is currently $1.06. Uh, increased risk levels around the world means it's been sold off a little bit from its recent highs. And all, as always, the risk averse investor's special friend, the gold price, up strongly overnight, up $12, trading right now at US $1,555 an ounce. It's an uncertain time. Look forward to your company again next week.